Hey guys, so today I wanted to give another update on the laser cutter build. Um, I wanted to be a little bit more further along than this uh, before I made my next video, but it's it's taken some time, uh, primarily with the funds to procure the parts. So I wanted to go ahead and give you guys an update as to what I've gotten thus far. Uh, I think the last time I made a video, I hadn't yet installed any of the wiring or the computer or the Arduino's or screens or anything like that. So I made it you know, a decent amount of the way through so far. Um, one hang-up I've had is getting these belts to work properly. Um, this one over here is the way it's supposed to look. The belt will go over the pulley, over the stepper motor, and come around here. Now this one's fairly taut, but not quite enough and that's the issue I've been having is every time I try to tighten these down uh, they break uh, the primary reason is because these are open belts that I've been trying to close and I've been trying various methods to close the belts um, and I've not had a whole lot of success the best one I've had is to super glue the two ends together and then use a bit of aluminum tape as you can see right there to I guess strengthen it up. The aluminum tape will crunch into these teeth so that way it has no problems getting around the gear uh, when it goes through. And it seems to work, it's just not very reliable. Um, I, I've had the z-axis working for a long time and then I went to go adjust it and I broke this side. So I bought a pair of closed loop belts and the pair that I bought is about two centimeters too short. And that's what's on this side here. Uh, so what I'm gonna end up having to do is just get better at closing these open belts. And that should solve my belt issues. Now I've got it working all the way up to the point to where we can turn it on and get some movement. These screens aren't the best, their viewing angle is kind of horrible. Um, let's get this moved out of the way. For some reason, and this is, I had to do this on uh, the 3D printer that this came from. I had to disable, enable, and auto home before it allowed me to do anything. So, let's we'll move one millimeter on the y-axis. Okay, so we got that one working. And then the x-axis is a bit harder to see because it's the gear right there. but that will move the centerpiece. And then the Z-axis I currently have disconnected because I was messing with the belts and I don't want them to fire up yet. Uh, this switch here I do not have yet hooked up. This is gonna be to turn on and off the water pump. And then this one, this button, is to turn the Peltier cooler on and off. Um, the way that the water cooling is gonna work is this is the reservoir that the water is going to start from. It's a giant heat sink on the inside and out, so it should help cool any water that's sitting in here. And then it's going to go to the pump. Now, I had said in a previous video that I probably wouldn't use this pump, but I hooked it up and it seemed to work incredibly well. So I'm going to go ahead and try it and we'll see how well it works. And then we have the pelt here right here. Uh, I've got a Enzotech water block for a CPU sitting on top. And that should be enough to chill the water before it comes up to the laser. This is the temperature in, so I can measure the temperature of the water before it goes into the laser. And then once it comes back out of the laser, it will go to this temperature out. I can't get my hand in there. This temperature out sensor right here. 
So that'll measure the temperature of the water as it comes out. And then it goes through the radiator and then back into the reservoir. Oh, and here's the Arduinos as they're hooked up, or at least hooked up thus far. For the second one, I had made a shield for. The main purpose of the shield was to give me extra breakouts for like the five volt here. Um, I've got a couple one wire connect, uh, sensors. Uh, so uh, these temperature sensors are running on one wire that so they both hook up to the same pin uh, So I needed a little breakout for those uh, The Relays This one is for the water cutoff uh, if the well the laser cutoff if the water stops and Then this one will turn on and off the Peltier. This is the 5 volt converter. It takes the 12 volts I got coming in from this block converts it to 5 volts, and then runs it up there. One big hassle I've had thus far is this screen. Uh, well, this honeycomb, aluminum honeycomb for the laser bed. I had opted to pick one of these up because I was able to get it for, I don't know, 80, 90 bucks, uh, which is a lot cheaper than I was thinking I would be able to. Uh, I really didn't want to use that big aluminum plate over there. But the problem is, is that this is flimsy. You see how much it bends just for me picking it up? And so that's not gonna work going across here. So what I need to do is make a frame for this to strengthen it up before I can even, even bother to use it. Now I do have the mounts for the optics. Um, this here, this first mirror mount, I don't actually have bolted down yet, but it is sitting too high given this stand. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to make another stand to hold the mirror mount because it has to be in line with the center line of these uh, laser tube holders. And as you can see, it's sitting, sitting pretty high up. So I need to make another mount that will drop that down. And then this one will be mounted here, well, like this, which will take the laser, bounce it to here, where this will be waiting. Now, I've already used a laser level, and I found that this actually only has to be about that far up um, so it doesn't um, it doesn't need to be raised up too high I still have to go up to the metal supply store to get the metal I need to make the frame for that honeycomb and then I need a very large sheet of aluminum to cover up this big hole in the bottom uh, the main parts I still have yet to get is the laser tube itself, obviously, the laser power supply, which will be mounted back here, the uh, air compressor or the air pump that will pump air to the laser cutting head, and then the air exhaust, which will be mounted in the back. I'm going to have two squirrel cages in the back there that will pull the air out the window. So this water flow sensor that I had installed in here was giving me issues and kinking the tubing that I was using. So I had to pick up a couple of these uh, elbow adapters to go in between the reservoir and the radiator. I just haven't installed this part again since I had taken it out. Um, but once I get this installed, I will be able to hook a tube on the port in right here and the port out right back there and give the water cooling a test. I'll even be able to go through and test how well the Peltier works. Uh, we can even put a load on it say heat up the water and whatnot and see how well it works. So I know this update was short. Uh, trust me when I say I got quite a bit done since the last time. There's just a, not a whole lot to show other than what you've seen thus far. Um, Hopefully by the next video, I will be very close to operational, if not operational by that point. 
Uh, and then I will make one final video where I go through and show how absolutely everything on here was made. Uh, what sort of screws I used, connectors, and all that. So that if you wish to build one of these on your own, or wish to build one similar, you might get some ideas, or you should be able to follow along with whatever I did. Uh, but I'll see you guys on the next update.